All right, guys, today we're going to talk about what I think might be the best pocket knife for 2023. Now, undoubtedly, I have a ton of knives, so this is super hard to um, like go over or explain because honestly, I think there's a lot of contenders. And so any one of these knives could honestly make for a super, super great knife. But I think one of the best value blades is actually not the Umnum Zon, but I wanted to show this off as a teaser because I don't want you guys to guess just yet what the actual best EDC knife is, at least for me. So once again, not the Umnum Zon. The Umnum Zon is a very cool knife. Also too, you know, there's a lot of very awesome knives out there. And I think if I had to choose you know, from my own personal collection, what might be my best. This uh, Spartan Harzi folder makes a really, really damning case because it is just so gosh darn, not only gorgeous to look at and like really cool for that blade being made out of Damascus, but it's also super comfortable. The lockup's great. Um, you know, the jimping is spot on. Everything that you'd really want about a knife is pretty darn squared away when it comes to the Spartan Harzi folder. However, it is also not the folder or the top folder for the year. I think if I had to give that place, and honestly, like, it's super difficult because there are so many great options out there, but I think the Manix 2 would probably be at least a very high contender. Now, let me explain myself when it comes to the Manix 2. The reason why I ended up with this guy uh, or choosing this guy as the top contender is because the Manix 2, which also very similar to the um, Paramilitary 2, but in my opinion, just a little bit better. Like I end up liking the locking mechanism and the overall um, ergonomics and such of the Manix 2 just a little bit more than the Paramilitary 2, but Outside of that reason, the biggest thing that I really enjoy about the Manix 2 is the amount of options out there from blade steels to handles to clips. If I was confined to choosing one knife, um, it might not end up being the Manix 2, but it would more than likely probably be a Spyderco of sorts. And that's just because with Spydercos, there's so many different flavors, variants, options, and choices. You know, you can choose uh, steels like CTS 204P, M3. 390, um, probably even Magna Cut in this coming year, um, you know, 15V, CPM uh, S110V, S90V, uh, S30V, S45VN, S35VN. There's so many, so many choices out there for blade steels. So depending what you need to fit your application, you know, there is likely a um, steel and handle variation that would serve you quite well. So for me, I think the Manix 2 really makes a very strong case in its amount of customization and once again, its amount of blade shapes. But then again, once again, looking at the core principle of this knife, I think it's a knife that fits a lot of people and is a generally well-rounded blade. Like when we look at the blade shape, it's very leaf shaped, which means it's a semi spear point, semi drop point. It also is full flat grind. So for doing true knife tasks, and once again, this is something where you have to ask yourself, am I really needing a knife or am I needing a pry bar or something like that? You know, if you were trying to pull out your Manix 2 to fix a pry bar task, then yeah, there's a chance you could break your Manix 2 because it is a full flat grind. But if you're honestly pulling out a knife to cut open a package or, you know, like process some food real quick or something like that, you know, something like this Manix 2 is going to do very well because of that full flat grind. And like mine has a nice mirror polish on it. So it is super, super slicey and out of box or from factory. These guys come with around a 17 degree per side angle. So they're already fairly thin thinned out and so that just really complements that overall full flat grind. So overall, you know, when you look at the ergonomics, the um, blade shape, the blade design, it really helps complement that wide variety of steels that are generally useful as knife steels. And once again, when it comes to using this as a true and proper knife, I think it's really, really hard to go wrong with. And once again, the Paramilitary 2 is a an, another righteous contender, like it is an option out there, and it is honestly very similar. I think the Paramilitary 2 is just ever so slightly bigger than the Manix 2, and so that's part of why I kind 
kind of lean more towards the Manix as opposed to the Paramilitary 2, but the Paramilitary 2 would definitely be high on my rankings of like greatest blades of all time, um, but the Manix for me I think just does it a little bit better. In addition to, I will say that I personally like the locking mechanism on the Manix 2 a little bit better than on the Paramilitary 2, and that's because I do like my compression locks, but I really, really like the ball bearing lock. It's a real shame in my opinion that Spyderco doesn't have more knives that have ball bearing locks. Like they've never really, outside of the Manix 2 kind of, um, like out of the Manix 2 family, so your XL and you know just your normal sized ones, they really haven't explored the uh, ball bearing lock outside of this knife style. So unfortunately, um, you know, it would be, it'd be cool to see that, but it just doesn't exist. So for me, I don't know, I'm not as huge a fan of the compression lock, though I will say one compression lock that does make a really like damning case for compression locks is the smock. And this is another form of the compression lock that I would really like to see in the future. And that is, it's kind of a hidden or internal uh, compression lock. So you have this button on the exterior that you use to push in that compression lock, but uh, outside of that specific like setup that's very unique um, yeah it's just really hard to finally a compression lock that I personally really love so yeah that is the Manix 2 I think it is one of the best pocket knives for 2023 and just in general it might be one of the best one of the greatest of all time um, I had earlier this year said one of the best um, or the greatest pocket knife was the Hogue Decca and I still would kind of stand by that I do really like the Hogue Decca to be clear, it is a very nice, like it is a very nice, very squared away blade. But once again, when you look at options and like how you can customize it, this comes in two different blade variants. There are a handful of different aftermarket handle skills you can get for the DECA, but it's fairly limited. So if you're really looking for something to customize to make your own, um, and you really want to limit yourself to how many knives you own, you know, the DECA can be a little bit more tricky. Whereas I know that there are genuinely some people out there that, you know, like they want to buy one knife, but they want to customize it. They want to make it unique. They want to make it their own. And I think that's where the Manix 2 really shines, honestly. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video as always. God bless, and I'm out.